Hello, uh, welcome to a conversion of Turbo Outrun on the C64. This came out uh, very late in 89, I think. Uh, Christmas 89. Um, and uh, converted by uh, Probe, uh, specifically a uh, program by Mark Kelly and um, graphics by Steve Crow. Same guys that would later uh, bring you uh, Golden Axe on the 64. And uh, like that game, uh, it's very big on presentation. Uh, and it really captures the uh, the, the coin-op uh, uh, atmosphere, but uh, maybe the lacking a little bit in the gameplay department. But, um, and the uh, music uh, by the Maniacs of Noise, you can hear it in the background. Lots of sampled sounds, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good for its time. Uh, it also featured, um, as well as this tune, that there was a, a intro load, which. Uh, had about an eight minute long uh, hip hop remix of the Outrun theme, which uh, was, was pretty good for its time and uh, worth checking out definitely on, on Subplay. Sounds a lot rough these days obviously but uh, back then it was, it was pretty good. Right, uh, let's get started. So like the coin up, uh, you get to pick your automatic or manual transmission. We'll pick automatic because because means you have to hit spacebar to uh, activate the turbo. You can just press fire. I'm a bit lazy when it comes to that. Now uh, on cassette, uh, well, well, on cassette, uh, obviously this multi load is pretty hefty and pretty boring. So um, yes, yeah, it's certainly not the best way to play the game. Uh, back in the day, I, I did own this on disc, and uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, this version is the version to play. You know, even on disc, it took up two sides of disc, and uh, it was uh, you know, the motor load was pretty boring as well on disc. But, um, but on cassette, it's, uh, it's, it's interminable. Now. Right, so here we go. Now, the road routine itself is pretty good, I think. It's a little bit jerky, but. Um, but it works quite well, I think. Lots of big, uh, colourful roadside graphics. Uh, they move smooth enough. It's just when you scroll left, right, uh, it's a little jerky, but... But it gives quite a good sensation of speed, and the little hills uh, are quite well done. The real downside to the game is, is the size of the, the, uh, the car. Which is huge. I mean, it looks impressive. There's no doubt uh, it's, it's a very well drawn F40, but uh, it's a little big uh, for, for the size of the road, uh, and it makes passing other cars uh, quite, quite challenging. You can see the weather effects are a bit naff, uh, that's supposed to be rain. It's just a sprite uh, rapidly uh, changing location. There's little jumps there on the roads. But to be fair, uh, uh, I mean, the car was quite big in the coin-up version, but on that version we had five lane roads, you know, and, and there's quite a lot of room to manoeuvre, but, but here it's quite tight. You can get a bit frustrating, it's quite hard to pass any cars without, without hitting them. But, but that's, that's really my only complaint. Uh, as you, as you can see, it suffers a little bit from the same problem that the Golden Axe had, where uh, there is only one car, or other car on the screen at the same time. I mean, it's not too much of a problem, because you know, the game is essentially a race against the clock. I, th I think if there was more than one car on the screen, uh, <laughs> it would be impossible to, to, to get anywhere without hitting cars. So. But I think the road routine itself is is, is actually pretty decent. Uh, one of the best routines I think on the 64. Uh. I mean the roadside graphics they're, they're not quite as colourful as they are, they are in uh, Chris Butler's uh, Power Rift uh, road routine, but um, they're, they're not too bad though. Uh.
Oh, I should try to get past this car. Oh, get out of the way. Ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so we managed to... Um, uh, after every four levels, the, the game stops and it loads in the, um, the uh, presentation screens uh, and uh, power-up screens. Uh, and then it loads in the next four levels. So it's, uh, it's quite a bit of... It's quite disruptive, the multi-load, I think. Uh, Uh, and uh, the power ups, you, I'm not convinced they really make much difference to the game. But, uh, but here you can pick different types. We'll go for the tyre. There's a lot of guys coming to fit the tyres. It's quite well done. And all these presentation screens are, are really well drawn, I must admit. In terms of, uh, in terms of presentation and capturing the uh, Coin ops atmosphere. I mean, the, 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 I mean this conversion. Uh, I mean, it's better, even better than, than than the Amiga version, to be honest. The Amiga version is a bit weak. Uh. Spent quite a lot of time uh, waiting for it to load. And every um, every load we get a different uh, in-game tune. And the tunes are okay, uh, the, 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 the in-game music, so obviously there's no sound samples there. Uh, uh, but they're, um, but they're, they're quite well done. Uh. Loosely based on the coin options. Obviously, once your um, um, turbo bar goes into the over overheat overheat uh, area in the red zone, you can't you can't activate the turbo. You've got to wait till it till it goes out of the red. So you can activate it now. And you've got to watch these pools of oil on the road to the uh, ignite. Uh, the turbo ignites them, and that makes you. Uh, your, your turbo bar uh, uh, heat up faster. Again, uh, there's more weather effects in the game, like, like sandstorms and, and snowstorms, but it uses the same effect as the rain. It, it's a bit naff, to be honest. Uh, it's a bit of a disappointment. Twisted road here. Yeah, you can see the roadside graphics, they, they, they lack definition a little bit, they look a bit blocky to be honest. And they definitely lack colour. But they move well, I think. Uh, I think this is supposed to be a, I think this is, yeah, it's supposed to be a sandstorm, but yeah, it doesn't look too too convincing. And actually, uh, you, you can see that it uses the sprite that the, the uh, turbo is supposed to be using, because uh, there's no flames on the turbo when it's uh, displaying these weather effects. So. Right, well, let's talk about Outrun for you. There's not much point in showing you too much more of the game. Uh, I'm already halfway through it. Uh, there's only 16 stages. The, the last stages, uh, towards the end of the game, the last couple of stages are... Well, certainly the second last stage is hard. The last stage isn't too hard. Uh, uh, but, uh, 
So it's certainly possible to complete the game. It's, it's quite well. Um, the gameplay uh, difficulty level is quite quite well done, I think. And the gameplay itself is okay. Uh, it's not. Um, it's basically just against the clock. It's fairly standard from that point of view. Uh, so it would have been a bit more playable if, it, uh, if the car had been a bit smaller, or the roads a bit wider. So it can be a, bit, a little bit frustrating passing some cars. Uh, you, t you tend to, um, I mean, I suppose that's where the um, the challenge lies in overtaking the cars uh, and not crashing into the scenery while you're doing it. Um, so yeah, I think I think um, uh, when, I, when I first played the game, I, I I thought it was quite good. Then then I went through a phase where I thought, well, you know what, maybe it's not so good. But um, but I haven't played it on and off over the years. So I think it's 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 probably as good as it could have been on a 64. Uh, probably better than most people would could have uh, hoped for, to be honest. Uh, so um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll give this. Um, I give this eight out of ten. I think. Well, so I give the disc version eight out of ten, and I think the cassette version. Well, the multiloader is quite intrusive. I think I'd have to give it maybe six and a half or, or seven out of ten. De definitely have to rate it a bit lower on cassette. And if you if you owned it on cassette back in the day, uh, then uh, you, you 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 have my sympathy. Uh. But, uh, but in terms of gameplay, I think it's okay. Uh. So yeah, there we go, that's Turbo Outrun uh, and a, well, this version, 8 out of 10. It's probably, um, probably still one of the um, more decent race games that you could, you, could, you could find on the 64. I wouldn't say it was the best, but it's, it's fairly decent. Uh. Okay, um, that's all for this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.